Hey there, Fletch from All Things Overlanding here. Today I'm talking about a new product that I got called the Airlax Mattress. Um, they have these in single person, they also have them in dual person. It's kind of a combination between memory foam and inflatable mattresses. Um, so I'm super excited about it because I'm actually gonna be camping in a tent with my nine year old today in our backyard. You can probably see the house back there. Um, so I'm gonna test it out. We're gonna be laying literally on the ground. I'm just gonna use this mattress and I'm gonna report back to let you know how I sleep and how comfortable it really is. So if you wanna learn more about this thing, I will talk a little bit about the features I'll talk about and show how easy it is to air up. And then again, I'm gonna tell you how comfortable it is and whether it's worth the money here at the end. Um, so if you wanna learn more about that, stay tuned. All right, so just my initial thoughts, uh, the way that it comes here. One, I have not read any directions. I've not opened this thing. I've not looked at it. This is my first sort of unboxing. But there is sort of a little uh, tube here that looks like it's for inflation. It Velcros to the side of the bag, which is kind of nice. I'm assuming that this will pop out and then you could use it to fill the thing up, right? So we'll get to that here in a second. We're going to try it out. I'm not a big directions reader, so again, I go to YouTube and watch videos like this to learn how these things work, so I'm kind of just going to save you guys the trouble, and you can watch this video and learn how this thing works. Um, one thing that I will say initially that I really like is this bag is plenty big. So you see how it's kind of like oversized for the mattress? It's actually really, really big, which I like because anybody that's camped before, anybody that's bought camping gear before knows how hard it is to get stuff to go back into the bag. So I can already tell that they've thought about that. They realize that once a human actually opens it, instead of a robot or a machine or whatever packed this thing into this bag, it's gonna be bigger, right? It's never gonna go back in the same size. So I like that they give you plenty of space in here so that you can actually get the thing back in the bag, which is a huge pro. Um, I also kind of like this sort of almost like dry sack kind of clasp at the top here. So you basically just like roll this whole thing down here to seal it up, which is a really interesting way to close the bag like this, but it will keep it dust proof, it'll keep it waterproof, it'll keep it airtight so you don't have to worry about stuff getting into the bag and getting your mattress dirty like when you're on a trail or something if you have to throw this in the back of your truck. So I like that a lot. So let's open it up and see what's inside. All right, so first thing I wanna say that you can't see on the video, but this thing is super soft. It feels really good. It's like a really nice material. It's almost velvety kind of. Um, so it's kind of got like a texture to it, which is really, really nice and soft. It's not like plastic, like a cheap Walmart air mattress. Next thing, is that I really like this strap. So you see there are two straps here. They go around and they clasp. So you just undo them like that. But one thing that I initially see immediately is that they're attached. So, you know, with a lot of these kind of things, they just come with the bare bones cheapest, like usually the things that you have to tie into like a bow or a knot to hold it together. These are meant to be, you know, clipped really quickly. And then they're also held together. So you only have to worry about keeping track of one thing, not two. So I like that. So, that is all off, super easy. You can see how small this thing folds up too, right? Hey, directions if you are into that kind of thing. So I'm just gonna lay this thing out just like a normal mattress on the ground here and show you guys what it looks like. Obviously this is uninflated currently. I'm gonna mess with inflating it here and kind of show you how that works. Um, but I will say this is the single. So again, they have a single and they have a double. So if you wanted one that's kind of like a double queen, you know, like a double mattress for two people, um, they do have that option. Again, I went single because I will just use this on like camping trips with my kid. He's got his own little air mattress. Um, that way it's just easier for us to kind of have our own things and do our own things. So one thing with this Airlax mattress that I did figure out that was a tiny bit tricky at first is when you unscrew this thing so when i first got it it looked like this inside and i was like well that's kind of weird it must be some sort of like a breathable like filter or something right um and i was trying to blow air into it and stuff and i no air was going in i'm like what the heck well so i figured out this is actually on a swivel so if you push it it opens like that and then you can let air out so you can deflate it really quick like that or if you want to inflate it, you turn it around. You notice it said deflate on there before. Now on this side, it says inflate. You turn it to the side that says inflate, and then you can blow right through this. Air goes right through, but it also keeps it in so it doesn't all just come rushing back out. 
so it makes it way easier to air it up. Um, again, you can use the bag to squeeze air into it, or you can just blow right into it with your mouth, and then, you know, put the cap on, screw it in, and it holds the air all night. So, pretty cool. But also a little bit tricky. So again, if you bought this thing or you're buying this thing and you want to know how to air it up, there is that little trick to it. Alright, so I have figured out that that little flap that was on the outside of the bag plugs right into the air intake slash export hole. <laughs> Um, and then this thing is airtight, so then you can take this and squeeze it down and it blows the air in, which then inflates the mattress. Now one note on this thing, I did actually take a, a look at the instructions and uh, it does say that the first time that you open it, because it's been in a highly compressed state for a while, that you should allow like 30 minutes for it to let the memory foam kind of free up and lose that memory of being compressed. Um, so I'm just probably just going to leave it here with the valve open just to let it, you know, naturally suck in as much air as possible for about the next 30 minutes while I set up camp and then I will uh, continue using the bag to inflate it. So again, dimensions up here on the screen, this is how big it is. Fairly easy to store, fairly easy to throw out. Once I kind of get a better idea of how easy it is to air up, I will be right back and I will tell you about that. And then at the end, after I sleep on it tonight, I'll let you guys know how it feels and how I sleep. Because honestly, I'm literally laying on lumpy ground right now. I can feel it where I'm sitting. It's We just cleared this area in my the woods behind my house yesterday. And we used shovels and we dug it all up and then we just kind of like compressed chunks of dirt. So I'm literally like softball size lumps here. So it's gonna be really interesting. If this thing's really comfortable overnight in these conditions, it should be great at most campsites. So again, more info to come. As you can see, this is what it looks like when it's inflated. Super, super easy to blow up, but I slept on it all night. It's, again, the sort of like velvety sort of feel to it is super, super nice. It felt very good to sleep on. And uh, as you can see, it's actually pretty thick, like, so I'm actually mostly a side sleeper and I was able to sleep on this thing all night and be really comfortable. And again, the ground under us is like super lumpy and we're not like on a smooth surface at all. So all that considered, I'm really, really impressed with this thing. Again, for the money, it's pretty inexpensive and it's really, really comfortable. So if you're looking for a, you know, way nicer than like my son slept on one of these way less expensive sort of just air mattresses you can see it's kind of like got a smooth texture it lost most of its air overnight whereas this thing is you know super stout so again i really really like it so my final thoughts on the airlax mattress is honestly i love this thing like i've just i've never spent the money i've never had one that's this nice before i always buy the cheap ones like that other one that i showed you that my kids slept on those were about 20 bucks a piece this is about a hundred bucks, right? So it's definitely a step up price wise. It's also bigger than that other one is probably about four or five, six times bigger than that thing is. But here's the thing is, uh, I actually talked to Kurt Thompson from GTF Overland recently. He sells a bunch of overlanding gear and we were talking about buying cheap stuff versus buying more expensive gear. And his sort of thought was the places where you should spend more money are on the gear that touches your body. So like sleeping bag, mattresses, um, that sort of stuff. Any, anything that touches your body, that's where you want to spend the money on. Because if you don't sleep well, if you don't, if you're not comfortable, if you're not warm in the winter, those are the things that are going to ruin a trip. So like, I'm really, really glad that I took the, the jump to try this thing out because it's way more comfortable than these old mattresses. Like I've, I've not been in a tent. I've not tent camped for probably three years. I went to a hammock for a while. I went to a cot before that. And then I'm finally, I've been, I've been in a rooftop tent and I love the rooftop tent. It's super comfortable. Um, but like this, like I can't drive my truck back into the woods behind my house. We're just camping in the woods behind my house right now. Um, so I, just to be able to throw this thing out in a tent is super, super nice. So again, really, really impressed with it. Super comfortable comparatively to these other cheap things. Like this thing is a game changer from a comfort standpoint. I was not uncomfortable at all, even on this super like rocky, uneven ground. So really, really like it. Um, I will put a link in the description down below to this thing. They also have a double, like I mentioned, so I'll put a link to that as well. So if you're looking for a, a kind of an X-Ped type mattress um, that is pretty fairly priced i think this is a great option i look forward to using this thing over and over i'm probably going to deflate this and roll it up 
and then keep it in my truck. And when I open my, my rooftop tent up, throw this on top of the mattress in the rooftop tent just to have even more like thickness and, and layer and comfort. Um, so anyways, really, really, really like this thing. So um, definitely check it out. Um, also in the description down below are links to Facebook, Instagram, my podcast. I do a podcast every week about overlanding stuff, general overlanding topics. There's also a link to Patreon where we actually have a Discord. We talk 24-7 in that group. So if you're interested in that, hop into Patreon um, and check it out. And then uh, last but not least, Facebook. Uh, we've got a newbie overlanders group in there. Tons and tons of awesome people. It's growing super fast, uh, but it won't beat you up like a lot of the bigger uh, groups do. So anyways, love to have you in that as well. Um, but again, thanks for watching. If you have any questions or anything about this thing, feel free to post up. I will do everything I can to get you answers. And if you're not already, make sure to click that subscribe button. Click the bell to be notified when new videos drop. But that'll do it for the Airlax uh, inflatable mattress. Hope that was helpful for you. I um, look forward to talking to you in the comments, and we'll see you next time.